We continue our college previews tonight with Boston University. They finished 2019 with a solid record on the men's side, but it's been an off season of losses for the program. They started the season well last year, had a minor dip in the middle of the season, but finished really strong in 2019. They beat Army, Loyola, and Holy Cross in the month of April to finish with a 5-3 and three record in Patriot League play. Beat Bucknell in the quarterfinals of the conference tournament, but lost 10-9 to Lehigh in the semis to finish off their season. A season that was highlighted by the play of Chris Gray. The sophomore finished the regular season as the NCAA leader in points with 111, second in the country with 62 assists. Those totals topped by the postseason totals of Pat Spencer and Granny Men, of course, but he ended up uh, first team All American Gray did. And of course, as we know, moved on by transferring to North Carolina in the summer. BU head coach Ryan Poley on losing Gray. Um, I mean, Chris was a great player. We wish him the best of luck, but you know, our, our attention is, is on the uh, individuals in our locker room. We got a great team coming back, and we have some individuals that certainly are, are ready to step up. And uh, we, we lost a lot of great players last year. We lost some great seniors offensively in James Burr and Brennan Holmeyer and, um, you know, defensively, Quentin Germain. Uh, so th there, there's a lot of holes to fill. But, you know, when you build a program, you continue to – bring in good players uh, and increase your depth. And I know there's some guys chopping in the bit uh, and some guys on their chip on their shoulders that are very excited to be given the opportunity uh, and prove that they're a great player. And, and this team, although it will be different, um, can still be a great team. And in case, but you, in case you haven't heard, it's a new year. Happy New Year. All of that is behind the Terriers now. Here's who's coming back. Timmy Lee finishes freshman season third in the team in points with 40, tying the program record for most points by a freshman. Second all-time in goals by a freshman as well. He had five goals in their win over Loyola. That's a big stage. Jake Cates, also a sophomore to keep your eyes on. He had 23 points during his freshman year. They're certainly going to be leaning on their underclassmen this spring. Only seven seniors on the roster, 11 juniors, and then you see there, 35 sophomores and freshmen combined. That's the task for Ryan Poley, who won the 2019 New England Division Coach of the Year Award for the second time in three seasons. He is the first and only coach in program history, named head coach back in 2012. The first games you see coming in 2014. With that, quick ascent to wins over the years. Won Patriot League Coach of the Year in 2017 after that 12-5 and campaign. This offseason, a multi-year contract extension. I just love BU. It's, it's the place uh, that gave me an opportunity to coach Division I. And, and certainly we've been building this thing, uh, you know, periodically, step by step. And, and each year we get a little bit closer to our ultimate goal of winning a Patriot League championship and um, competing in the NCAs. And, you know, it's just there's some unfinished business here. So um, certainly BU commit, uh, you know, continued their commitment to me in this program. And I'm very thankful to uh, Dr. Brown and, and Drew Maricella. It means everything to me. Um, came here with a vision, and that was to, number one, put BU on the map as a perennial top 20 team. Uh, but always the goal has been to get this program to a Patriot League championship. And like I said, we've been close in the last three years, but unable to kind of ring the bell. And uh, it, it's something that drives me every day, drives my staff, and I know it drives this team. So uh, I, I couldn't be happier with the continued commitment by the athletic department and the university, and I'm happy to be here uh, as their leader.